Please use this app responsibly, watch first and practice later. Sometimes when we learn a skill, it's not just about learning the skill, it's about what the skill can give you. So now we're talking about the spread eagle and this is going to be a stepping stone to help us to learn another move later on and how to control the feeling of having one foot facing forwards whilst the other foot is on the ice facing backwards at the same time. The principle of this movement is simple enough. We're rotating one foot and trying to get the blades to play follow the leader as we go around a circle. But it can be a real test of our turnout and we need to know what to expect. As we approach our spread eagle, we need to be ready for a two foot glide in parallel first of all. So I'm moving, taking a moment on two feet and turning my upper body to face into the circle that I'm going to spread eagle around. All right, we're gonna take that preparation one more time. I skate in and I face slightly into my circle. And now with two feet on the floor, I'm just going to rotate one foot until it's facing backwards. Now, that's essentially a three turn movement. It's a twist from forwards to backwards movement, but only with one leg, okay? So we're leaving one foot facing forwards and twisting one around to face backwards. Now we'll squarely be facing into our circle with one foot facing forwards and the opposite one facing backwards. An additional point for our spread eagle is to know that just like playing follow the leader, we need to make sure that our feet are indeed following one another as accurately as we possibly can. So the leading foot is skating his way along and the following foot has to make sure that the heel is trying to chase the other heel around. Now they're not gonna move like this, but they'll be on the same train track. That's a very, very important point. So that as we make that moment turn into the spread eagle, these feet are following very much the same line as we move around the circle. If we have a lack of discipline, one foot or the other, we're going to find it very difficult to control. And one final note, the size of our circle will very much depend on the amount that we can turn our feet away from each other, our turn out. Now, when we're starting out, it's perfectly acceptable for this spread eagle movement to be on quite a small circle. I'll demonstrate a nice teeny tiny circle, really small. My feet are following each other. It is a spread eagle, but it's very tiny. As we get even better at this, we'll start to be able to hold on slightly larger circles, whether that's on bended knees or straight knees, and eventually straight lines, and maybe even one day outside edges too. But for the purposes that we need as we're starting out, a small circle on the inside edge, knees don't have to be straight, they can be bent with the feet following one another. Set up with a forwards glide on two feet, begin to turn to face into your circle and then open up those feet to follow like train tracks. Once you open your feet, try and keep your weight evenly spread between each foot. Remember the size of the circle is not important, it will grow the more experience you gain in the spread eagle. This move is both a foundation skill for some of our later moves, but also a really cool move to show off to your friends.